Hello. Drive while I'm again. I haven't done a game review in a while. Been busy with a few things, but uh it's just past time. All those Godzilla fans are uh, I'll make one with the Wii and PS2 for Godzilla Unleashed in a few months, so stick with me and enjoy the King Kong one. Well, anyway, here's business is a flash game called Dots. Let's play it. Let's see how good it is. Those instructions. Well, you really should check that out if you're gonna plan on playing that. This media mode. Let's go back to easy show what you're gonna be playing when you begin. Okay, he's a little angry face man, looks like Newgrounds guy anyway. He's not where you start out with, but he's one of the characters anyway. Um, as you can see, you have to collect those dots and avoid the green ones, because those will kill you. But you have to get the blue ones, but every time you get a blue one, the green one appears. But as you get a certain amount of blue ones, you level up and you get an invincibility for a limited time limit to kill all as many as you can. Now there are different like stats. As you can see the graphics are quite impressive. They're nice and smooth. The sound's nice too. And so is the presentation for the menus. Now the controls are arrow keys to move around. It would be easier to do WSAD, but let's not nitpick the same part. Now a main issue with this game is the lack of save feature. You can get a very high high score as you can see I've 49 as medium high score and once you restart the game you're going to uh, lose all that data and you're going to have to do it all over again. This is Mr. Pumpkin Man, he's uh, one of the medium mode characters. He has very high invincibility so when you get invincibility you can um, use him quite well. There's going to be three stats I'm going to show you in a little sec I'm just going to kill all these guys. Um, Sets that each character has. As you can see, um, the gameplay is quite addictive. You'll, you'll keep the replay value is extremely high. It's very uh, addicting. Now, as you can see, you have speed, size, and time invincible. The more speed you have, and the lower size you are. If you have a really small invincible time, it's your best bet to um like do a different strategy and not kill as many as you can uh, when you get invincibility but just try to kill like one or two now if you get someone like the pumpkin dude you want to kill as many as you can at the time so there's two different strategies for each for whatever and each person has different strategy i personally like the uh, invincibility kill as many as you can strategy but my friend goes by the uh, one strategy um the problem is, if you have to unlock, like, a character that requires a score 40, you're gonna have to, and he's your, your, uh, strategy, then you're gonna have to wait until you unlock him, he's kind of annoying. You also might get frustrated sometimes in the game, if you, like, just died, and you were, like, almost unlocking a new character. Like, I, I, uh, almost got... 50 guy and I didn't, I don't even know what hard mode's like, but I have a mad name. It's not as I have the most forgiving mode in this game. Well, it's a decent game, you know. You get the controls and stuff. Like, you get a lot of control. You don't get many controls. It's a nice strategy game, break from all those shooters and stuff. Oh. Um, yeah, the gameplay is really addictive. That's a great feature about it. You know, addictive gameplay is really fun. Nice time waster. You got a lot of time on your hands. I suggest you just play this game. You, know? uh, you can play it on. I'll give you a link in the, uh, on the right on the author's comments. There's a link to the game. Just click there to play it. I'll give it a shot. You know. Well, thanks, and that's score and. Uh, I might make more if I feel like it. Or I just had to review this game. Okay, as you can see, those scores. You can take a nice look at that. Five, really good replayability. And that's the final score.